gonna do a video today. God told me today to make a video on the passage of the book Faith and Works by Ellen G. White. Faith and Works. So I'm gonna read the passage. I pray for the God we might understand the word. Amen, Jesus. Amen. <coughs> a number of persons were present at this meeting who held the popular theory of sanctification. As the claims of God's law were presented and the true character of his error was shown, one man was so much offended that he rose abruptly and left the meeting. Oh, and afterward, I heard that he had come from Stockholm to attend a meeting. In conversation with one of our ministers, he claimed to be sinless and said that he had no need of the Bible. For the Lord told him directly what to do and he was far beyond Bible teachings. What can be expected of these who follow their own imaginings rather than God's word, but that they will be deluded? They cast away the only detector of error and what is so present and what is to prevent the great deceiver from leading them captive to his will. Okay, someone, someone came to my house too one day. She had, uh, dad was a minister and uh, she didn't believe the Bible anymore. She thought herself that the mind was powerful enough to know the truth, to understand truth from error. And this is a great deception that's going on today. Because, because the term of evolution is so, is so mainstream of the world, the people now believe that they're not going to become uh, evolutionists, but they will just give up the Bible. We know that the only way we can know truth and error is not from the mind, it's not from what people say, it's from the Bible, it's from the teachings of the Bible. So once you don't believe the Bible, there is no way you can detect truth and error and you will be misled in false theories. And in fact, there's a good verse Tisto White says. She says, only those, only those who have fortified the mind to the reading of the scriptures will stand in the last great conflict. So we know that the conflict is coming and that only those who are faithful, only those who are uh, 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 reading the Bible, knowing the truth, and, find, and uh, fortifying their minds with the scriptures and they will know what is truth and what is or We can know, we can make a difference and this is no other way. And the, uh, the reason why God sent the Bible to us is because we can, we can discern the truth and our and we can make a decision with it. Because if you don't know, then nothing will, no, there's no way to know truth and error. So this is rampant today. People think their minds is powerful enough to know what is truth and what is error, it is impossible. Only when you study the Bible, praying before the reading of the Bible, that we can know what is truth and we can know what is not true. Even if